let's just um, do this. Uh, yeah. None. Okay. Inspire. So I'm gonna just copy the. I'm just gonna clone the project from the documentation and from the Git uh, samples of this. Just moment. Okay, where's the link? Okay. <clears throat> okay. So clone. So okay, let's just open this project now. Oh no. Shop. Okay, so Just okay. This is a standard application. I mean, non non aspire project. So what I will try to show now is to convert this into a .NET aspire project. Like what I have said, uh, if you are working with Visual Studio, you can just right click this uh, project, and there will be uh, an option to just convert it. But yeah, I want to show this. Uh, I want to do it manually so that you will see the magic. I mean, yeah. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, let's open the terminal again. Terminal. Mm -hmm. Let's just wait this to be compiled. Happening here, but yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so this the first thing that you need to do is to uh to to execute this command dot net new aspire, not starter, because this when you trigger this dot new aspire, it will only generates the dot uh the app host project and service default project. Oops, wrong spelling. Fire. Okay, so let's just do this first. Okay. Great, so it's already added here. The next step you need to do is to, uh, of course, add this to your solution explorer. Add existing. <clears throat> Search this store. Uh, the other one. That's just product. Next, we have to go with the project itself. We need to update this um, this program.cs, and we can just uh, no. We 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 need to uh, reference this project service default. I'm sorry, I forgot that. Add project reference service default, and we need to do that also with our backend or product service reference, service default again, then we're good. Then we can just tap, type this builder that add service defaults. And that's it. And uh, go to backend and do that also. Builder, 
that add service defaults good okay next you need to go to the app host so that you need to uh, so, so because you need to update this file to 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 see different services inside your uh, solution and in order in order for you to do that you need to of course uh, add the project reference for this product and in store let's do that store then um you can do this now so let's say back end builder that add project projects and this will automatically see the products and uh Let's name this as yeah, products. Products. <clears throat> and that's it. And uh, yeah, let's do some other line of codes. Let's front end. Okay, I think I need to make this lot big. <laughs> front end. Okay, builder. Projects store and name this as store. And I need to reference this back end by just just doing this or just typing this add with reference and short I'm sorry with reference and use the back end and i think that's pretty it mm, but i'm not sure why there's an error here anyways that's not my project so let's try to run this now Let's try to run .NET, run project workshop. No, the name is e Atmos. This should, um, this should generate, or I mean, this should run the dashboard Aspire for this project. Okay. Is it done? I'll check. Yeah, it's done. So we can check this now. Oops, it's being generated here or being opened here. Yeah, so as you can see here, yes, uh, it, what we call this, it converts, I, I, I have converted the NAN Aspire project into Aspire project and as simple like as that. If you want to add more um, services, uh, yeah, you just need to do what I did. Let's just open this. Okay, same same thing. Yeah, same same uh, same result. But I'm expecting this will produce an error because I forgot to do something inside. Um, inside the app settings because not using the correct uh, endpoint, which is defined inside um, app settings. As you can see here, the error is all about this. This should be changed into the name that we are, that we have defined, he defined here. So let's just change that. Okay, and let's try to run it again. Opposed. <clears throat> mm. 
Okay. Let's oh, let's just close this. Close this again. It's done. Okay. Let's open this again. Okay. Let's try to access this front end again. <clears throat> there you go. So, uh, did you notice how easy to to point your backend API to your front end? You just need to define this uh, whatever name that you define inside your app host will be treated as your endpoint, and that will be uh, that will be generated automatically if you deploy that your, to your uh, uh, the, uh, prod environment. 